My favorite band is Guns N' Roses. That's right. Hands down, they he are the best. He himself after you look at him. Look at him. A week ago, I had short hair. <laughs> we got to get some tattoos going here. Where's your tattoos, boys? They're here. You got them? Yeah, I'm thinking of going for one myself. I'm thinking of making the full commitment. Well, Good. how was it making that decision first time? Yeah. I mean, was it that a big hurt? decision the first time you decided to go get a tattoo? or? I'm afraid of getting AIDS. No. Something no? I worked for. Yeah? I in. Yeah? Yeah, they have meaning to me. Yeah, <laughs> I just didn't get just something goofy on my arms. You had like a Superman that... tattoo yeah, like Bon Jovi? Yeah, well, I don't know. What a dick boy that guy is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Little dick boy that. with his Superman <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> I hate that guy. What are you trying to say, really? Uh, he <laughs> screwed me over big time. You know, at least yeah, you guys remember your friends. Me. You remember your friends? Yeah. Uh, who knows if you remember your friends. <laughs> but anyway, let me talk to you about my bar for a second. My bar is uh, beautiful. You get the record company, to do you? Don't you use uh, computers? Absolutely. Who sets that up for you? You don't know, right? No, I don't. You hit a button, whatever I you want I hit a button, it comes, comes up. up. Yep. Remember when the was doing a girl's job? He was the music director at our radio station? He used to hit a button and yeah. what, whatever. That was a long time ago. You come a long way. What Thank are you, you now? What are you doing now? Promotion with Geffen. You're the head of promotion head of Geffen? Yeah, head of AOR promotion. What are you making? Now you're up to what, 30000 a year? <laughs> at least. All plus, right. Plus all the free records. I know. And I still, you know. The deer gets naked and rubs the vinyl against him. Oh, Guns N' Roses. Oh, yes, yes. I represent them. He didn't figure he could be around records and make money, too. Yeah, right. It's unbelievable. <laughs> hey, did you know what? I, I interviewed Rona Barrett. Yeah. She told me she has blonde hair everywhere. <laughs> Matching collars and cuffs. Not a nut, huh? Oh, you probably knew already. You guys probably got her last night, huh? <laughs> Actually, they've already been to one of her dinner parties. You know what my bar does? My bar. What is my bar here? My bar, M I B A R? You call that up, they set up the whole computer for you. You guys aren't the businessmen, you're artists. You don't know about this stuff. His but manager the, does though. Your manager knows. You've seen him work a computer. Yeah. Uh, like it's <laughs> fresh. But uh, you get a computer in there, you don't know how to set that up. They set the whole thing up for you, they do the whole number. In fact, take a meeting with them today. Yeah, you guys won't. You're looking to take a uh, cocktail break. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Guns N' Roses I know and love. I want a cocktail break, for God's sakes, right now. We're not coming unless there's cocktails and food. Now, you're looking to take a meeting with Slash. They couldn't find him for the last three weeks. He we hasn't gone to bed yet. Yeah, I understand. I'm the last person to speak to uh, Axel, yeah. the lead singer. Why? He's not doing interviews anymore? I called him in his hotel room. We spoke for 25 minutes. Sure, he was great. But no one's been able to get in touch with him since. <laughs> I think he's in New York today. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Well, we called him. We we spoke with him for a while. He was he, he's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. Good guy. I don't know why you guys are having so much difficulty with him. <laughs> I don't know why I can't keep him in line. <laughs> I had him just fine. Maybe I should manage the band. <laughs> hey, actually, you want to sing today? No. Leave me alone. Okay. I'll see you in three weeks. Well, we have a concert tonight. No. Leave me alone. I talked to him about it. He's gonna calm down now, though. He's gonna behave himself. I told him that. As far as you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he said the new album is going to be incredible. Hey, but he, whatever he does is just fine. Can I give you the number for my bar? 212-725-4600. 212-725-4600. That's 212-725-4600. So Guns N' Roses. Steve Adler, of course, drums. Yes, sir. And uh, he loves to play the drums. You play the drums damn well. Thank you. Damn I'm going to well. say that. Thank you. Thank you. I was one of your early supporters. Was I not, Robin? Absolutely. I know a lot of people are jumping on your bandwagon now. But I like the record right off the bat. Did you play it, though? Play it? I'm too busy to play it. <laughs> play it? What, do you want me to get fired? <laughs> can't play that. <laughs> His success, you guys. No record. No record. No record. I only record. talk about he the band. He talks about you guys, but no record. That's it. Now, Duff, you play bass. Yep. And uh, you love that. All right. How many girls are we getting? Guns N' Roses must unbelievable the amount of tookie you guys get in a night. I mean, you guys, you just got, you guys must be getting, like... Oh, seven man. a night. Have you ever had seven in a night? Yes. Tell seven the truth. Seven in a night? Yeah. Tell the truth. No, I am. Sorry. You're lying, aren't I'm you? I'm not lying. What did you do That's with seven people lying. in one night? But don't you worry about getting AIDS or something from the girls? The girls, some of the girls could have AIDS. God dang it. Let me show you something. Oh, good. Uh-oh. Good. What has he got? Da, 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 da. Trojans. Oh, he carries. Look at that. He carries works. Trojans. He carries. It works. <laughs> you guys ever hump an ugly girl just to remember what it was like in the old days before we got famous? <laughs> or you just only go out with models now? Yeah? You get ugly uh, girls? Yeah, of course. Really? Women are women. Women are women. That's so true. Yeah, I've got a piece of 
Uh-oh. Is that right? <laughs> the hell does that sound? I don't know, but Gentlemen. don't say it. If anybody figures it out, don't say it. <laughs> oh, hey, I did it, man. Hey, I love it. Man, oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, shit. Write that in a song. Drum. All right. right. <laughs> when I talk to Axel, he says to me, when I was talking, when I was talking to Axel, he says to me, he loves Dick Clark. No, we all do. Now, now, what the hell is Dick Clark doing that everybody loves him? He's a nice guy. No, no, wait a second. Was he there at the beginning before you guys got famous or something? Yeah, he was there before everybody got famous. No, 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 wait a second. Now, back <laughs> no, up. Everybody thinks that. I can't figure out why every group loves Dick Clark. To me, he's just a money-grubbing skunk. To me, he's just a guy who, like, gets everybody's video clips and, and makes money off them. He gave me free tickets to the Frankie Valley concert. Oh, that's different. You didn't say that. That's what I was asking. Well, there you have it. Gee, that's a. I mean, because you guys, you guys will pretty much do anything for him. You know, you'll go on his shows and stuff. Not American Music Awards. Not anymore. Awards. Not anymore? No, I don't think so. no more American Music Awards. No more. Good move. Uh, oh, come why, on. Why you guys had a bad time? Uh, it's just not a, a realm we should be in. Right. At See. All. Well, I saw Metallica at the Grammy. Right. That really they should have won. They yeah, should have won. That was that, was that was that well, was. Well, I mean, fixed. why isn't Guns N' Roses up for a Grammy? I mean, and that's what's wrong with the Grammy. Thank you. No, really. I mean, I don't understand that. Well, because they know we would have tore that place apart if we wouldn't have went up there, and they well, would have picked us for a total. Howard, they that's said why. something about the album was released in '87. Oh. So why in hey. '87? Oh. Yeah, really. I mean, I don't understand because nobody would even touch us in '87. Yeah, but but even still, I was saying this earlier. Like Bobby McFerrin, I mean, that's a nice, cute little song. It's sort of yeah. a ditty. It's like "Happy Birthday to You." But that, that album yeah, we'll is no. Be singing it forever. Yeah, that's no great work of art. I mean, that's no. I mean, that whole album. I can't name one other song from the album. I mean, what I the hell is that? Probably can't name the album title. And they wonder why. You know, there wasn't one celebrity at the Grammys. Yeah. They suck. They suck. Yeah, uh, I, I like you. That's and American great. Music Awards suck. 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 I don't want you guys we back suck. there. We sucked on it too. You didn't well, suck. No, it's just not your venue. To be able to see and it's that. sound. TV sound. Sound is always horrible. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, they, it, they didn't make you sound That's good. That's why most people lip sync. That's it. I'm telling yeah, you. We won't do that. I don't blame you. I mean, uh, Bobby McFerrin is a... Uh, I mean, what, what is this? Oh, I love that little thing he did with Billy Crystal, too, where they went back over the history of music. Bobby McFerrin is Michael Winslow with uh, rhythm. With a little rhythm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's all the guy from Police Academy. Yeah, you know, he makes a bunch of noise, oh, yeah, yeah. and then beats on his chest. That song should be called Don't Listen, Be Happy. <laughs> Because <laughs> when I don't hear it, I'm happy. When it comes on, I get sad. But uh, you guys are so damn good, man. And then, and you guys, you see, the reason I like Guns N' Roses, I don't feel you guys are a put on. I feel no. you live the lifestyle. I feel you're the real article. Yeah. Well, we have. I mean, all all the songs on the on the Appetite album are true. You know, all yeah. the stories are true. You know, and it was it was. I'm, we all wanted to do it, you know, we all wanted to come to Hollywood and, and form a band, you know, what every kid wants to do. Yeah. So none of us were crying about the life we had because we wanted to do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, uh, okay, I, I don't mean to dwell on this, but, so what did Dick Clark do for you guys that you like him so much? The Frankie oh. Valley ticket. No, no, come on, seriously. <laughs> no, he's, he's, not, he's a hard worker, man. Yeah. But what the did he do shows. for you? I mean, he must have done something that you like him so much. No. He's just done things. He's had shows that I've watched since I was a little kid. That, oh, that's why you guys the, like him? Because yeah. of those shows? Cause yeah, the, he's, got, he's done the American Bandstand. He's all right, rocked I'll the admit, world. All right, I admit, when I was 15 years old, and, hey, I'm 35 years old, I still like to see teenage girls dancing, and when the camera goes up their skirt, man, I, I am that. into it. I love <laughs> it. Love that it. is rock and roll. And I do owe him that. But I say he's the world's greatest pornographer ever because I used to watch that show <laughs> masturbate consistently. Oh. Every time it was on, I would consistently Everybody masturbate. Did. Didn't Everybody you? Did yeah, you ever masturbate to that show? Everybody. We all did. did. Then you love Dick Clark too. What do no, you think? No, I love those sixteen-year-old girls. Well, maybe I do love Dick Clark. Maybe I owe him something. Come on. Hey, maybe you're right. You wake, me... at wake up at eleven thirty with that morning Woody. Yeah. Turn the TV, TV. Uh, you guys are rebels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I bet you Dick Clark went home and masturbated to his shows. <laughs> oh, look at that girl. I really couldn't look at her while we were taping. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Look at that. Ooh, that little mini skirt. Oh, yes, those Bobby socks. Oh, yes, I love the way they dance up. Yeah, he's not... That little mini skirt. Oh, yes, those Bobby socks. Oh, yes, I love the way they dance up. Yeah, he's not looking at the artist when he goes home. Oh, I love when they... Oh, yes. He picks the girls out, too. Oh, yeah, man, he knows. She's got a long dress on. Forget it. 
He's like, hey, sweetheart, do you want to come up here and rate a record? <laughs> come on, honey. Skinny buckeye two down with the, with the little G string. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll be here with uh, perhaps the two most talented members of Guns N' Roses. <laughs> the two most. Are you not the most overlooked members of Guns N' Roses? Ah, who cares? Yeah. Ah, come on, come on. Slash is my favorite guitar player in the world. Yeah, I, I sort of have his look, don't I? Huh? Come on. I kinda, come on. Huh? I told you he patterned himself after. Huh? You, need, you need to shave less, though. <laughs> well, I just shaved this morning. Yesterday, I wasn't shaving. Then you must look like Slash. That's it. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the girls you're getting when we get back from commercial. Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta tell me some of the more famous women. You, you gotta have. tell us how life has changed. Tell me if you guys get nailed that Tracy Lords, too. I wanna know. Uh, All right, when we come back, we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Stay right there, as Grammy Week Live with Howard Stern will continue after this. Hotel, here's Howard Stern. I'm back. Hey, you boys must have some good... Now that you're making big money, you guys each got a couple of million or what? No. You guys are getting money now. Where'd you get that motorcycle jacket? Where you guys do your shopping? Where you get all that neat stuff? I got this from some kid on the road. I traded him my best for it. That's See, that's what you got to do. You got to trade. Huh? Yeah. I got some crummy clothes, man. I got to get some good clothes. I dig your guys' outfits. Right. Yeah. Right. Can you make me a pair of pants? Oh, you got a guy who makes your pants? Yeah. I told you that was all custom made yeah. stuff. Yeah, you guys got it, man. Uh, yeah, I noticed Axel now in the new video. He's got that nice white leather outfit and everything. Man, I know you guys are making money now. Yeah, that's the, he's doing his Elvis impersonation. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm right. actually... Actual has left the room. <laughs> <laughs> so let me talk to you about uh, what kind of stereo you you guys got now. What? There's a kid with AIDS down there. Look like it. Uh oh. You guys got to be careful with that. You guys are getting a lot of girls now. A lot of these girls uh, shoot up. You got to be careful. Yeah. Everybody use bad. Them. Yeah, but they use bad needles. Yeah. You guys got they enough share. money. That's you guys have enough money. You don't have to share needles anymore. <laughs> We don't, lucky. we don't use needles at all. All right, all right. Take it easy, will you? God, don't ever say that. Don't ever say the word needle. <laughs> well, you know, you, you know what you read. Cocaine or free base either. All right, I won't say it. <laughs> anyway, what kind of stereo you guys got? Stereo. Come on. What First of all, do you have separate homes now? Yeah, we have separate homes. <laughs> so you guys got enough money, you don't have to be sleeping uh, in the same room anymore. <laughs> So now you got Damn a stereo God. in that home. We still live together That's on the right. road, you know. Yeah. You do? We toured for 18 months. How does Slash's feet smell on the road? I huh? roomed with Slash for the first <laughs> 10 months until we could afford to have our own rooms. You know? Really? Very unhealthy. Snores. Oh, man. You seen Slash Barts naked? And seen Barts naked. and snores. You have seen him? I've seen him. Hung like a horse or what? Or hung like an ingrown hair? I don't know. Huh? Between I've, the hair I've, and the horse, huh? I've, I've, if you no, really he's got a big old schlong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does, huh? I get more into that yeah. horse range. Yeah. More into the horse You guys range. ever videotape each other with babes? Yeah. You do? <laughs> Who keeps the videotape? Who keeps the videotape? Yeah, that's it, man. You. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> if you want good videotaping equipment, you go to Grand Central Radio. This guy's got stuff, man, that you would not believe in. You're dealing with the owner. You guys walk in there, you'll be treated right. Arthur Gold is the owner. He's there every day. Takes care of the rock community. Takes care of the whole community. Treats everybody with respect. The man among the community. He takes care of you now that you said that. Yes, uh -huh. he does. <laughs> Grand Central Radio, Arthur Gold is very serious about carrying the best equipment, audio and video equipment you cannot find everywhere, such as Nakamichi, Bang & Olufsen, Yamaha, Denon, Mitsubishi, DogQuest, and many other fine brands. Bang & who? Who are you banging there? What Bang & Olufsen. Oh, Olufsen. That's Grand Bang Central Olufsen. Radio, 155 East 45th Street, just off 3rd Avenue, or call 682-3869. Come on, no commercials here. Hey, come on. Come i got to make a living, too. Oh, you guys got to make. you want to do public radio? No. <laughs> hey, is this the uh, Guns N' Roses CD with the live stuff? Yeah. The acoustic stuff? Yeah. Yeah. It's half live and half acoustic. Yeah, this is great. This is good stuff. That's for you, Howard. Thank you. Thank that's, you so uh, much. That, that's the original EP. We released like 15,000 copies. And being out on, on the road, you see it like in stores, like in Kansas City or something, for 150 bucks. Whoa. Really? So, yeah. So, yeah. No, I better put that in my pocket, Jack. <laughs> keep your hands on that. No, what I'm trying to say is, uh, so for the our, our fans, you know, the kids can't afford that. So we just re-released the one side is the, the old EP, and then we just put some acoustic tracks on it, you know. So you guys, uh, what tattoos you guys got? You don't have any Superman tattoos, huh? No, no, no good no, no. Superman. What kind of tattoo? Now, what is, Two what is, roses, yeah. heart, wings. What does that mean to you? What the tattoo? Yeah, he says they all mean something. The heart and the rose and the wings means a few, a free, beautiful love. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. baby. Whoa. And, the, yeah. and on the right side, the 
the, the rose and the drumsticks and the blood and a little sparkle means I play drums. Uh -huh. Very rugged, but very beautiful with style. Oh, all right. Is that what that means? Yeah. That I, mean told, I told you that's what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody it's listens to me. It's a meaning thing, man. He doesn't go out and get something. Yeah, don't let people get something, mark up something your something. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh. What are you going to put on your arm? I'm going to put rabbit tracks on my buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> Means that, uh, <laughs> it means it's a that free, I... beautiful, it's a free, beautiful <laughs> love. Oh, whatever. I don't know, man. Free, beautiful love. Means you're gonna get laid with all those tattoos. Wouldn't you think that? There you have it. That's it's it. free. I know what you're up to. Uh, oh, Kip Winger. Oh, Winger. Oh, Winger. Kip. How you doing, pal? These guys have sold too many records. You need somebody to just start now. Nah, you're doing all right. <laughs> hey, you're not too good looking, man. You must get a lot of girls, too, huh? Somebody else just asked me that question. Yeah, they all ask the same we're, damn we're, questions around here. We're going to an orgy after this is over. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got 12 wonderful girls. What happens after a concert? What do they do? They, who who, all, who, all brings, the women, who brings the women backstage? <laughs> who brings the women backstage after a concert? Doug Goldstein. That's the guy? <laughs> <laughs> the deal, have you gotten these guys sex? He like brings you them back to our concert. Right, come here. <laughs> Tell me what you guys have been up to. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Huh? Now, see, we call him up when we're at our concert can't to help. send him. You can't? Uh, oh, what, are they worried about their image? <laughs> what is it? The D of the Whoremeister is not talking? The D is worried about his image. I yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, my mother listens you to You never it. brought these guys into a limousine and uh, got them no, some girls? No. How about the bus? The bus, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, what goes on in that tour bus, huh? What do you guys got? No, we, we, have a cam we have a camera in the back, and so everybody in the front lines could watch what's going on in the oh, back Oh, you're lines. kidding. Oh. Oh. Really? That's nice. Hey, so what about uh, Slash and Axel? They, what, do they go into a room and they write the song? Do they let you guys write with them? What? We all write. We all write. You all write together? Yeah. yeah. So you all get writing credits? Yeah. We all write hmm. the song. Read the album, buddy. Yeah. yeah what do you mean, oh, read man. the album? Yeah. I just listen to it. I don't read it. He doesn't listen to it. He just talked about it. I just talk about it and listen to it. Right? I mean, what's the process, though? Who writes the lyrics mostly? Axel? Axel. Yeah. yeah. And then you guys go write music we together? We write the music, and then he comes in with the words. Or the opposite, either way. Look at Kip over there. He goes, that's how they do it? I'm going to start doing that, too. We better start doing that. Yeah, I'm sick of doing that. Yeah, I, do, I do everything. Yeah, Kip you goes, no, I want all percentages. It's all mine, mine, yeah, mine, mine. No, 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 no. <laughs> but what's the thing I just read about Axel? There's one song that he really... Like, hot for he thinks is the best thing he's ever done, and if it's not recorded right, he's quitting the business. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you better talk to him. <laughs> November yeah. Rain. Somebody slap him around. November Rain? November yeah. So is it recorded right, or is he quitting the business? Neither. Because <laughs> I heard he say, I hope I live to record this next album. And the, <laughs> and <the whole> thing. <laughs> yeah. Where's he going? Yeah, yeah. what yeah. business is he going to go into with that yeah, look? Exactly. <laughs> well, Moody, he wants to be an athlete. He yeah. does? Yeah. No, it doesn't everybody. Yeah. yeah. Hey, get, <laughs> in get in line. Really? Yeah, who doesn't want to be an actor? So what's the deal? So then the women come backstage. None of you guys are married, right? I am. Oh, you I are? I got married, yeah. Yeah? To a yeah. model? Huh? No. To a girl. Regular girl? Yeah. Regular looking girl? Or like a real nice no, looking? No, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's not regular. What, she's beautiful. And what did she do before she married you? Was she like a, an actress or something? Well, yeah. What did she do? I don't know. Where'd you meet her? We stumbled into each other. Where'd you meet her? In Back a bar. In a bar? Uh-huh. After a concert? Uh-uh. So we, weren't, we weren't even on tour. Were you famous yet? When you met her? Uh, uh I don't know. You were working. Uh -uh. We were working. Yeah. You were happening. Ah, uh, yeah. Them, them. No, no, I wasn't, actually. We hadn't even started touring yet. The record so, just came out. So yeah. then she probably loves you for you. You're I a very lucky so. man, yes. All right. <laughs> That's That's as far as I know, you know. <laughs> Kip, what about you? You bagging any babes? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you must have bagged a few. Well, Come on. With that face, what are you asking? Yeah, really. Come on. <laughs> Not too difficult, huh? Yeah, I bagged a few. Yeah. You get them all. So you guys are on tour, right? Well, not right now, but You're we're going, going back yeah. out. Yeah. You want to know something funny? Yeah. When I played with Alice Cooper, the first gig we did on the tour, Guns opened for us. It was like oh. right before your record came uh, out. Uh, and Santa Axel couldn't get in the building, so oh, they just yeah, yeah, yeah. they all just chugged it and jammed yeah. for 50 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. They, wouldn't, they thought they he was like, like, what the hell is this, man? <laughs> they didn't think he was actually with a group. They thought yeah. he was... He, he went to the front, he was late, you know, and he went to the front, uh, whatever, the box office. Oh, man. And he said, I got to sing. That's that's the band I sing for. And they were like, sure, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> says that. So, that was me classic and Guns N' Roses. That's it, huh? It was terrible. God, it was terrible. terrible. Hey, yeah, well, we weren't so great Too bad we can get a little jam thing going here, huh? We just got 
two bass players and a drummer, we could do Big Bottom. Big Bottom. <laughs> Big Bottom. Talk about mud flap. My oh, girl's got them. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, get the guitar. Get it quick. Somebody play out of my mind. How could I leave this behind? <laughs> there you go. Well, here comes the guitar. Anybody want to play something? No? I don't yeah, play yeah, the guitar. Play guitar. They don't have yeah, a bass yeah. here. I don't play the guitar. They don't have a bass in this whole building. I got See, a drum what machine. happens? You don't hear bass on the records. No. You don't. You don't never see the bass player. Yeah, I, I know over fifty rock songs. <laughs> you know, you guys are making <laughs> you know, a lot Robin of money Lombard. now. You better hold on to your money though. That's the other thing I'm worried about with you boys. What's you know, you have No, I mean, how do you guys handle the whole money? It comes to you. Invest. You invest. Real estate. Yeah, and you got a guy doing that for you, or you do I it? Do it. You do, you it, do yourself? it yourself. Axel. Yeah, yeah Axel. Financial <laughs> consultant. <laughs> Axel actually <laughs> puts that together. No, that's a. Wait, no, Dustin Treasurer, he gets all the money. Yeah. It, you uh, run it like a group, I'm huh? the vice president. I just hang out, you know. Yeah, but you guys ought to invest in something. What do you guys... He's a secretary. He wears his short little skirt. I'm really serious. <laughs> what, do you guys, what do you guys know about handling big money? You learn. You very, do? Very fast. Oh, we got accountants. And yeah, but you got an accountant, but what is... And who's watching him? Who's watching him? Stop blind. <laughs> That's all. Well, That's part of the business. He's well, in Goldstein. Monte Carlo right now. That's your job too, Doc. Yeah, notice he's oh, dressed better than everyone. He's got more money than it. Yo, look at a bulging wallet. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got something bulges on my wallet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Big front. Penis over there. <laughs> That's, That's Dougie. I don't know too many guys named Goldstein with a big penis, to be honest with you, pal. <laughs> my bonnet. All right, we got to take a break. I want to thank. <laughs> this exception is this is true. I want to thank the guys. From, I want to thank the guys from Guns N' Roses for stopping by. That was very nice. To you. And Seriously. Kip? Kip? It's good. You're good people. You're All good. Right. You remember Kip Stern. Kip Kip Kip, Kip, I want to thank you for stopping by. Thank you. And uh, the I see your video on MTV all the time. It's happening. I swear to God, MTV is, is like a, a Guns N' Roses it. station now. Yeah. Well, every minute is a Guns N' Roses video. And we That's throw Kip in there good. every once in a while. Kip's on there, Let too. Let him move his, move his body like he does real good, like that, <laughs> like that snake thing. That snake <laughs> thing. Sexy man. Sexy man. That's it. That move got you laid, huh? Definitely. <laughs> and you guys are digging this because all the whole industry <laughs> thought you guys were scum, and then all of a sudden, now you have. Now you are the industry. Now you're Beautiful. the industry, and they were treating you like scum. You guys were sleeping on floors, and and Axel was living in black neighborhoods, <laughs> dealing with all the black people, <laughs> right? That looks gotta work in a black community. Yeah, I'm sure he fit right in. <laughs> hey, blonde boy, come here. Come here, come on over here. Come here, they'll beat you like a redhead stepchild like you are. Come here. Come here, boy. Yeah, come here. Come here, boy. We're going to yeah. teach you now. What's these tattoos here? <laughs> Mama Lucian. Oh, yes. Tattoos. <laughs> yeah, I can see that going over real big, yeah. Yeah, Axel's got too many tattoos, I think. No, his, his, his. I don't like them all up. And he just, he just willy-nilly puts them on his arms and stuff. And then he told us he's putting on more tattoos. Yeah. He's gonna be like the—he's gonna be like the illustrated man. Life's got a lot of meaning to him, Howard. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. What do his tattoos mean? <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. got a lot of tattoos. Yeah, his all have meaning, Tom. Uh, you guys got a lot of talent. I like you, Kip. I like you. <laughs> and I gotta take a break, and I want to thank you guys for coming on. Yeah. We'll be back later.